what's going on guys and welcome back to some more walking dead season 8 episode 2 is what we're going to be doing today it's one episode i know you guys are not seeing these right now i'm just recording these in advance but when these do come out you'll know that i'm excited so this is episode 2 of the walking dead man i appreciate you guys so much for sticking with me throughout this whole time a lot of people have binge watched caught up all this other stuff for season eight so we're here once again in episode one we got to see rick attacking negan's compound the main one where he was at almost killing negan too but unfortunately um because gabriel tried to save gregory he ended up getting leave behind because of gregory jumping in the vehicle and going and leaving Gabriel behind. I don't know why Gabriel didn't just get up with him. I don't know why. Um, I guess he was just trying to be safe. But now he has ended up in Negan's hands. And it's not good. It is not good. It is not good. And now I'm afraid that we might lose Gabriel. I don't know what's going to happen. He, uh, of course he's going to keep him as a bargaining chip. Um, I don't know what else Rick has planned. But it seems like something is going to go wrong because of this weird cutscene that's zoomed in to Rick's face. It seems like they're going to end up in some serious trouble or something of the sort. And he's also having this dream of the future. So there's a lot of things going on. But we're going to see what takes place. Let's let it play out. I'm loving it right now. Season one, um, Episode 1 was pretty good. I liked it very much. So let's get into Episode 2. I know a lot of people don't like Season 8, but right now, it's looking pretty good. So, yeah, not, you know, it's not the greatest opening episode of any season that I've seen of The Walking Dead, but it was good. It was good enough to get me back into the swing of things. So let's go watch this episode, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was season eight, episode two of The Walking Dead, and I am, I am shocked by that ending. Very shocked because I never expected to see those people again. I mean, from season one, that's why I'm like, when he turned around and looked at them, and I saw the face, and then ooh, it hit me, bro. It hit me. I was like, yo, I know this guy. Where is he from? He left with his family, bro. He left with his family. Back in season one. Them Spanish dudes that left. I remember that, man. Wow. That's crazy. How he's with the saviors. This is crazy. Like, why would he be with the save the saviors? Like, that's crazy. And he's called the saviors back. So, I don't know how that's going to turn out. But I guess he's going to... I mean, this is war this is war so there are gonna be some casualties so i'm expecting that um eric got shot um yeah eric got shot and um aaron was there i didn't even realize he got shot i guess when the adrenaline wore off that's when the blood started pouring i don't think he realized he got shot um but they need to get out of there because i think they've killed enough of them for the dead to kind of overrun them in a way. Because that was the plan. But also. Um, it's it's kind of like a. You know as I said. Pincer, um, pincer attack. You know where you pin the enemy in. Um, but at the same time. What's going on over where Jesus them is at. Looks like they took that compound. Um, but isn't. No. That's not the same place. Rick, Rick and Rick and they're at the same place where where they're at, right? Yeah, Rick and Daryl, they're at the same place where the others are at, where um Taradem is at, right? I'm pretty sure, but they just attack from a different angle. I wanna say, uh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm gonna be honest, I am not sure, but I think those two are in the same place right now. Um, then we have. Ezekiel and Carol, they're at going at a different compound. 
Um, we haven't seen, we didn't see Maggie this episode. Where is Maggie then? I don't know where, the, where they're at. I didn't see Maggie this episode, um, at all. So that's kind of, uh, maybe she's at the hilltop. I don't know. Um, if I should comment on the things that are happening right now with, um, you know, the decisions that are being made of not killing, killing or not killing, um, I don't know, but also this could come back and bite them in the ass by, you know, not killing these people because they don't have nowhere to keep prisoners. And that's the thing. They don't have anywhere to, to, you know what I mean? Morgan really wanted to kill that guy. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I really, he's an asshole. He deserves to die. I mean, in the context of the show, you know what I'm saying? If it was real life, I would probably be saying something else where you have somewhere they could, you know, you can imprison someone for doing something like that. But in the context of the show and the world and the universe that they're living in right now, I think it's better to take out a guy like that. A guy like that is never going to be friendly. A guy like that is never going to become a friendly. You get what I'm saying? You can't convert somebody that's like that. You know what I'm saying? He's worse than the leader of the wolves from back in what is it? Season five or season six. Um, he's worse than them. You know what I mean? So in my opinion, I don't think they, I, I don't know what to say because my morality is all crossed up because of this show. So it's kind of like, I don't know what to say towards them because some of them might be people who would never turn back against them. But at the same time, there's so many of them, they could, you know, um, I don't know. Maybe if Rick was there, make Rick would have probably made this decision to take him out. But they surrendered, so there's that too, where you can you can't say just take him out. You know what I'm saying? Because they surrendered. You don't want to kill somebody with their hands up. And I understand where Jesus was coming from, from his perspective. You know, but I also understand where Tara is coming from. You know, um, and it ended up being that he took Jesus as a hostage. You know. Um, so good that Jesus know a little bit of Taekwondo, whatever that is called, you know, karate, <laughs> right? Good that he knew a little bit about that. Some judo throws, some judo throws, I should say, right? So he was able to take him down. Um, but he still hogtied him. So there's that. Um, but you know, there's a lot of morality, you know, conflict in this show. So it's like, I get where they're coming from and I get where, where they're going with the show. And I'm, as I said, man, um, not every season is written very well, but I love the writing in this show. And the reason why I love the writing in this show, even though some people say that season eight is not good or whatever, even though that's yet to be seen or for me to be judged, some people, when they watch TV shows, they want every season to be the same kind of hype and stuff like that. And when I'm talking about hype level has nothing to do with the, the, um, the, the necessarily steps that, the, that the plan, when the writers sit down and say this season, this is what we're going to do. And it might not be as hype, you know what I'm saying? As previously season seven or six, it may not be as good, but we're trying to establish a storyline here. If you are trying to do a storyline, they might say, okay, we're still doing 16 episodes but can we match this storyline and and mash it up into 16 episodes maybe you know sometimes listen i like the fact that it's only 16 episodes at this point i think there was a season that went beyond 16 i don't remember um but for the most part on average it's been 16 episodes right so when you're talking about shows that are sometimes they're slow just to build char have character development, have the story develop a little bit more so they can have more to throw in there for, for the next season. And sometimes they'll take a step back to tell that story. Like we know that this season was going to be all out war, Rick versus Negan. So what did you expect? A lot of this stuff that is going on right now. I don't know what the rest of the season is going to be like, so I can't speculate to say, um, it's not going to get bad. I can't say that, but I can say for these two episodes that I've watched so far, they've done a very good job. 
that's just my opinion so far is what i've expected coming into season eight so i'm not let down and they've already dropped some bombs already all right so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always that's all i have to say for my review for this episode two i will see you guys for the next episode of course leave a like on this video and leave a comment and also subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace